Our diet was mainly bacon, cabbage and spuds. So when the pig was killed, the bacon was hard salted and three weeks later then it hangs on the roof of the kitchen, smoked with the smoke of the fire. Yeah. There was nothing wrong with that. It was healthy food. Except, of course, into Friday. Friday was a fast day and we got no meat on Friday. Our diet on Friday was cali, mashed potatoes, onions, milk and butter. Boxed your potato cake. Boxed you then was grated raw potatoes mixed with flour, salt and you fry it. Today you'd have a liquidizer to do it. But this was ours. <laughs> the lead of an old pot and you bought holes with a nail, all going in the same direction. And there then you had your scraper, scrape your raw potatoes. Unless Grandma went to town, and if Grandma went to town she'd buy a few herring and apple, fish. But very seldom was there enough of them purchased then to feed a large family, mother and father or grandparents. Ireland. Many families had an instrument like this that in some way sums us up, and if not, it definitely left behind a statement that lingers quite clearly in the minds of the offspring. Father is deemed to be provider, got priority before mother and before children in relation to food. Mother cooking the fish, the grease and the fish running back and into this little bowl. The children running through the kitchen, hungry too, pinching at the fish. Mother sees them and she lets a shout at them. Dip in the dip and leave the heaven for your father. That expression meant that the child goes to the bread bin, gets a slice of bread and dip it in here and have the taste of the fish. But fish must be left for father. He's the provider. If he falls, the house is in trouble. And a few years ago, I had a senior citizens group with us from North Mayo. And in that group was a woman, 92 years of age. She was sitting here at the head of the table. And when I said dip in the dip, she said, don't roll. I asked her what she meant by that. She said, don't turn your bread within the dip. You were going with twice too much, depriving mm -hmm. somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that woman needed no introduction as to what dip in the dip really yeah. meant. Mm. And if you've never heard of any of that, well I'm sure by now you've heard of the George Foreman Grill. Mm. And there's the Irish version of it long before George Foreman <laughs> came at all. 